Hello, one more time. Now we're going to consider this problem. This is 10.1. And the information that we have is a radius of 4 meters. And the force is 15 newtons. The formula that we're going to use is going to be right this one right here, which is torque is equals to radius times the force times sine of theta, which is the angle. We can apply this formula to all of these problems. This formula works for every single problem, but first we're going to consider the first stream because they are very similar. Uh, if we multiply the radius times the force times the sine, we're going to get uh, a different a different approach and then we are going to apply the right hand rule. After calculating the torque in every case, uh, we get for section A, 60 newtons times meters and B, 52 newtons times meters and in part C is 30 newtons times meter. Now we're going to apply the right hand rule for every single case. Imagine that we have our hand on, on the road right here and the palm is facing the, the force. So in this case, it would be out of the page. And similarly, to this, this will be the palm facing the, the force, it will be out of the page, and this also would be out of the page, which we can see now we will consider um, problems D, E, and F. First of all, for, for part D, we must consider that the radius is is the one that is going to change in this case right now it's going to be two meters and after that we use the same force and we use the angle of 60 which would be 26.0 newtons per meters and then after we apply the right hand rule imagine the palm facing the torque and it would, we can clearly see that it's gonna be into the page. For part E, the force is being applied specifically to the torque, so the radius is zero. So the, the torque is equal to zero. For part F, we can see that the force is being applied to a degree of 180, and sine of 180 is equal to zero. So that means that the torque is also going to be equal to zero. That's it. Thank you.